the world could get a hold of that. Yeah. That's what Christmas is about, okay. church. Amen. It's not about all this other stuff. Come on. It's about a Savior that was born in a manger. Amen. Amen. I thank God for Brother Tyler preaching that message. Amen. I, I'm thankful for the way the Lord has been using him. Amen. I was thinking today about every, everybody's going through the hassle and battle getting gifts. Everybody's wanting to give. Everybody's just what they want. But Brother Miller, most of the time, just what you want and what you need. Amen. Amen. I was thinking, you know, back when I was a child, mom and dad, they didn't have a whole lot of money. A lot of times, Brother Billy, we might get a pair of gloves or a pair of socks. Come on. Amen. That wasn't what I wanted. Yeah. Amen. I wanted toys like these other kids. Yeah. But that was what I needed, Brother Billy. Amen. Come on. Yeah. You know, they didn't have the money to buy the toys and stuff like I wanted. What money they had, they had to use to buy what I needed. What Amen. Need. And I got to thinking about Brother Billy preached a message to here a while back about how we need to be more loving, really. Amen. Yeah. More compassion. Amen. And he even got over it and talking about the lame man laying at the gate. Amen. And, and Acts, the second chapter, you can turn over and read it if you want to. It says, Now Peter and John went up to, unto the temple at the hour of prayer, being the night prayer. And a certain man, lame from his mother's womb, was carried, whom they laid daily at the gate, at the temple, which is called beautiful, to ask arms of them that entered into the temple. Now this lame man was laying there daily. Yeah, every day. Every day. That's what he was laying there, wanting somebody to come by. Come here, Brother Tyler. Come here, sit here on, sit here on that altar. Had his little cup. Yeah. Want somebody to come by and drop a little money. That's what he want. Yeah. That's the way he made his living. Want yeah. somebody to drop a little silver and gold. And he was laying at the gate of the temple. Yeah. And this is what struck me when Brother Billy preached this message. There was probably several people, Brother Billy, that come by going into the temple to pray. Yeah. Amen. And they would drop. Maybe they dropped a little bit of silver and gold in there. But then they walked right on by. Yeah. Went right on into the temple. But this day, something was fixing to change. Amen. These men that was coming by didn't have what he wanted. They said, silver and gold have I none. Yeah. Amen. So they didn't have what he wanted. What, he was shaking that little cup at them. They didn't have what he wanted. Come on. But they had what that man needed. Amen. Amen. They said, silver and gold have I none. But such as I have, I give unto you. In the name of Jesus. Now you ride yeah. up and walk. Amen. Amen. And that, they, had what, they had what this man needed. Yeah. They didn't have what he wanted, Sister Minnie, but we got what we got what this world needs. Yeah. Come on. We may not have what they want, amen. Come on. But we we got what they need, amen. We got a lost and dying world out there. And honey, we got the answer. Come on. And we're sitting on it, amen. It's time that we give some we can give somebody Jesus. Amen. Come on. I can give somebody Jesus. I, I if I just open my mouth, if I just witness and tell somebody about a savior that was born way back there to thousands of years ago in that manger that, that grew up and died on Calvary for them. Honey, we can give them Jesus. Oh. I may not be able to give them what they want, but I can give them what they need. Amen. This man, the Bible, don't, after, after this day, this man wasn't sitting there checking his cup no more. Oh, Amen. On. He had what he... Amen. Oh, do you feel what I feel? Amen. He, he, didn't, he, he, was, he wasn't checking that cup more, no more. He, he didn't have what he needed. Amen. Yeah. Amen. They didn't have what he wanted, but they had what he needed. Amen. Amen. And I got to think about it when Brother Billy talked about it. You know, so many Christian people walk right past him. Yeah. How many times have we done that? Yeah. How many times have we walked right past somebody? And maybe they even cried out and said, Billy, he was shaking his cup. Yeah. Yeah. I'm needing something. Yeah. Honey, there's people out there shaking their cup. Come on. They're needing something. They're hurting, Brother Billy. They don't know what the answer oh. is. Honey, when we, when we're sitting on the answer, we're walking right past them. We're walking right on into our little, our little, uh, our little forward, no, no more, amen. Come we're on. walking right on in and we're getting in our little group and worshiping the Lord, but we'll walk right on past that one that's shaking their cup. That's needing an answer. That's hurting, Sister Reason. That's got tears running down their face. Maybe something going on in their life, but we walk right on by. Yeah. Amen. We may not get everything we want, but honey, most of the time we don't need what we want. Come on. I got to think about that prodigal son. Brother Billy, he had everything he needed. But he got his eyes on something that he wanted. 
Yeah. Out there in the world, amen. And he, and he, and he left the father's house and he ended up in the hog pen, amen. I'm all. I noticed in the Bible the father never stopped him. No. Jesus won't stop you from walking away from him. No. I'm all. The father didn't stop him, but he gave him his inheritance. So here it is. Take it. Go out there after what you want. Yeah. But it wasn't long that he found out what he wanted and what he needed. Amen. Amen. What, he, what he needed was to get back. Honey, what he needed was to get back where he was, brother Bill. What he needed was to get back to the Father's house. Amen. Get back where he belonged. And the Father, the Bible talks about, he, the Father had compassion. Yeah. When he come back, the Father was waiting for him. I believe he was waiting the day he left. Yeah. Still looking for him every day, looking out the window. Yeah. So he'll be back. Yeah. Amen. I'm still praying for you. He's coming back. Amen. The Father didn't give up on him, Brother Billy. And, and the Bible don't say no word in him. When, after he come back, the Father put a robe on him. Yeah. Put a ring on his finger. Killed a fatty calf. And it happened. The Father never did once judge him. No. The Father never did once put him down because he walked away. See, the Father had what he needed, Brother Billy. Yeah. Honey, we got what they needed, but most of the time we're too busy judging them. We, 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 we're knocking them down instead of trying to lift them up. It's time that the church have a little bit of compassion. Amen. It's time the church get a hold of that compassion. I need more of it, Brother Billy. Amen. I need more love for people. Amen. And reach out and touch with Jesus. I thank God that somebody had enough love for me to pray for me. Amen. That would cry out to the Lord to save me. Amen. Before it's eternity too late. The Paul had a compassion. Yeah. But most of the church world is like the other side. Yeah. We're sitting in there. We don't have compassion. We're jealous of them. Yeah. Amen. The other son brought up everything that the man done and did son. Yeah. He even added to it. Yeah. That's where the church world is. But we need to be get back. We need to be like the Father. Amen. We need to start having compassion. But we got what they need. Yeah. We may not have what they want, Sister Mitty. Right. Amen. I may not have the money to give them or stuff like that that they want, but I've got what they need. Amen. If, I, if I can give them, we can give them Jesus. That's the greatest gift anybody could give. That was the greatest gift they've ever given. And honey, we got it. We got it. We can give it. Amen. He lives inside of us. Amen. If he lives inside of us, Brother Bill, we can share him. Come on. Amen. But it's up to them to receive it. I can give you a gift all day long. But if you reject it, Brother James Coates, one time talked about that. He said if he went out his way and give the best thing he could give to you as a present, then you got that present. And he just throwed it over the side. I don't want that. Yeah. He said, that's what we do, Jesus. Amen. The Father gives the best that he had to us. And we just throw it over the side. Yeah. And reject it. I thank God for his love and mercy. Amen. Mm -hmm. I thank God that somebody had compassion for me. Yeah. And church, that's, that's, what, that's what this preacher needs. I, I'm preaching to me, honey. I, I guarantee you, I need more compassion, Brother Billy. I need more love for the lost and dying world out there. Not no more judging them and, and putting them down, but lifting them up and telling them, hey, you may be way out there. You may win it way out there, and, and, I, and I don't like where you're at. I don't like that scene. But, honey, I still love that soul. And, and then you can come back to the Father's house. The door's still open. Amen. As, as long as you got a breath in your body, honey, you still got a chance. Amen. you got a chance to turn your life back around. But we got to have our compassion. Amen. But we ought to give them what they need. We may not have what they want, but we got what they need. Yeah. Give the Lord a hand for his word. Come on, brother.